Hey there and welcome to a new video. In today's video, we will be going through a very commonly asked screening question in SQL interviews. The format will be given in such a way that we will be given a table and the, based on the table, we will be asked to solve multiple questions. So here in this example, we have created a table called as e-commerce sales and based on the table, we have to solve five different questions using the same table. Now, in order to create the table, the DDL and DML will be available in the description. So we are creating the table called as e-commerce underscore sales. It has got order ID, which is the primary key. Then it has got customer ID, which will act as the ID of each customer. Then we have an order date, then product column, then quantity, price, discount, then category. And all of the columns has been specified with their corresponding data type. So here customer ID will be variable character, order date will be date, then product will be variable character again quantity will be an integer and it should also have a constraint that is check constraint quantity should be always greater than zero then price which is decimal here also we have given a constraint that is check constraint where price should be greater than zero then there is discount which is also a decimal here also we have given a constraint that is discount should be between zero and one then there is category which is a variable character after creating the table we have inserted five records into the table that is the e-commerce sales table now the table I have already created. Let us query the table and see what is the table having. Execute. And here is the table with the same data which we have inserted. We have order ID, customer ID, order date, product, quantity, price, discount and category column. Based on this table, there are five questions given. That is calculate the total revenue after applying discount for each order. That is the first question. Now the second question is to find the cumulative revenue generated over time show revenue accumulated per order date now the third question is to determine the most popular product category based on total quantity sold fourth question will be identify repeat customers who have placed more than one order and final question will be pivot the data to show total quantity sold per category in a single row these are the five questions that we have to solve using the e-commerce sales table let us move on to the first question that is calculate the total revenue after applying discount for each order and the formula is total revenue equal to quantity into price so we have a quantity column that is quantity multiplied by price and this should be multiplied by one minus discount so here is the ratio of discount so basically 0 0.10 means 10 percent discount hence we have to subtract that particular discount from one hence we will get the total revenue so the equation will be quantity into price multiplied by 1 minus discount which will give us the total revenue now based on this formula we have to calculate a new column for each order id to calculate total revenue let us do that first so here we will write a select post select and the column we require is order id order underscore id now the second column which we require will be total revenue so what we can do is we can copy the same formula starting from quantity into price multiplied by 1 minus discount paste it here and hence all the column names remain same we don't have to make any change here only change is we have to add the column name that is total underscore revenue now this is taken from the table e-commerce underscore sales now execute and let us see what is the result we are getting execute and we have order id and total revenue calculated now this total revenue will be quantity into price which is then multiplied by 1 minus discount also we can order the result using the order by close that is order by total revenue which will be in descending order now execute and we will get the result in descending order of total revenue hence it will be easy to identify which order id is generating the maximum revenue so here order id 10 is generating maximum revenue now let us move on to the second question find the cumulative revenue generated over time in order to calculate this we have to make use of the concept of window function before that let us query the table once again with respect to question 2 that is select star from e-commerce sales table execute and we have the table e-commerce underscore sales now from this table based on the order date column we have to calculate the cumulative sum for that what we will do here is from the entire table the column which we require will be order date that is the first column which we require and as the second column we are going to write an expression based on the sum aggregate function but here we will consider the aggregate function as a analytical function so here over open and close parenthesis and inside sum we have to place the same equation that is total revenue generated 
copy this equation so here we will place the expression for total revenue generated over here we don't have to write any partition but we will make use of the order by close that is order by order date which will be in ascending order and this will be the cumulative revenue now execute and see what is the result we are getting execute and here we can see that corresponding to each order date we have created a cumulative revenue column that is corresponding to 013 the revenue is 720 and when going to 23 2099 we have the revenue which is the sum of revenue generated on 01 and 02 similarly going to 3 we have the total revenue which is based on the revenue generated on 01 02 and 03 and hence we can get the cumulative revenue with respect to order date column even when we have more dates in the e-commerce sales table that is the second solution now moving on to the third question that is determine the most popular product category based on total quantity sold so let us query the table once again that is select star from ecom underscore sales table execute and we can see that we have a quantity column and we have a category column and we have to find the most popular category with respect to total quantity sold that is the question for that what we will do here is we will write a expression based on the category column category and now we will make use of the sum aggregate function we will take the total quantity with respect to each category as total quantity and we have to write a group by close group by category and now we will write an order by close that is order by total quantity which should be in descending order execute and let us see what is the result we are getting execute and we have the category and total quantity and in the question it is given that we have to find the most popular category hence we only require accessories in our final result what we will do here is we only require the top one category based on the total quantity sold execute and we have the category which is most popular based on the total quantity sold and this is the third solution now moving on to the fourth question identify repeat customers who have placed more than one order so what we have to find here is based on the customer id column we have to find the customers who have placed more than one order for that let us query the table once again star from ecom underscore sales table execute here based on the customer id column and order id column we have to find the customers who are placing more than one order so what we will do here is we will count the number of order with respect to each customer first that is customer id comma and now we will count the order id with respect to each customer as order and we will write a group by close here group by customer id now execute and let us see the result execute one is placing two order and all other customers are placing only one order hence in our final result we only require customer id c001 so here we will introduce a having clause that is having count of open and close parenthesis order id hence we will get the customers who are placing more than one order in our final result execute and now we can see that we only have customer who are placing more than one order in our final result that is customer c001 is placing two order and all other customers were placing only one order and this is the result now moving on to the final question we want the data to show total quantity sold per category in a single row so here we have to calculate the total quantity per category and then we have to display the result in a pivoted manner we will start with select select star from ecom underscore sales table execute and we have a category column and we have the quantity column and based on the category and quantity column we have to display the result in a pivoted manner so here we will make use of the aggregate function sum and key statement and from the table itself we know that the category is having two different values that is electronics and accessories so we will start with the first expression that is sum open and close parenthesis and within the parenthesis we will write the conditional aggregation that is case when category equal electronics then quantity else zero end the case statement and this column we will name as 
electronics and now we are going to write the second expression that is sum open and close parenthesis case when category equal accessories then it should be quantity else zero end the case statement and this column will be named as accessories now execute and we should be getting the result we were looking to obtain execute and we have the result where we have total quantity sold per each category that is electronics is 4 and corresponding to accessories the total quantity sold is 7 and the result is in a pivoted manner and this is one method of obtaining the result in a pivoted manner also we can make use of the pivot function to get the same output you can try that on your own if you like this video check out our channel for more advanced sql interview questions hope you like this video thanks for watching and subscribe for more thank you